So in this video, I will show you how to install Docker on different operating systems. The installation will differ not only based on the operating system, but also the version of that operating system. So you can actually watch this video selectively depending on which OS and the version of that OS you have. I will show you how to find out which installation step applies to you in the before installing section, which is the first one. So once you find that out, you can actually directly skip to that part of the video where I explain that into details. I will put the minute locations of each part in the description part of the video. And also I will put all the links that I use in the video in the description um, so that you can easily access them. Also, if you have any questions during the video or if you get stuck installing the Docker on your system, please post your question or problem in the comment section so that I can um, get back to you and help you proceed or maybe someone from the community will. Uh, so with that said, let's dive right into it. So if you want to install Docker, you can actually Google it and you get an official documentation of Docker. Um, it's important to know that there are two editions of Docker. There is a community and enterprise editions. Um, for us to begin with, community edition will be just fine. In the Docker community edition uh, tab, there, there's a list of operating systems and distributions um, in order to install Docker. So for example, if we start with Mac, we can click in here and we see the documentation of how to install it on Mac, which is actually one of the easiest, but we'll see some, some other ones as well. So before you install Docker on your Mac or Windows computer, there are prerequisites to be considered. So for Mac and Windows, there has to be some criteria of the operating system and the hardware met in order to support running Docker. So if you have Mac, Go through the system requirements to see if your uh, Mac version is actually supporting Docker. If you have Windows, then you can go to the Windows tab and look at the system requirements there or what to know before you install. Um, for example, one thing to note is that Docker natively runs only on Windows 10. So if you have a Windows version which is less than 10, then we, Docker cannot run natively on your computer. So if your computer doesn't meet the requirements to run Docker, there is a workaround for that, which is called Docker Toolbox. Instead of Docker, you basically just have to install a Docker Toolbox that will become um, a sort of a bridge between your operating system and the Docker. And that will enable you to run Docker on your legacy computer. So if that applies to you, then skip ahead in this video to the part where I explain how to install Docker Toolbox on Mac and on Windows. So let's install Docker for Mac. As you see here, there are two um, channels that you can download the binaries from or the application from. We will go with the stable channel. Another thing to consider, if you have an older version of Mac, either software or the hardware, please go through the system requirements to see if you can actually install Docker. So here there is a detailed description of what make version you need um, to be able to run Docker. And also you need at least four gigabytes of RAM. And by installing Docker, you will actually have the whole package of it, which is a Docker engine, uh, which is important or which is uh, necessary to run the Docker containers on your laptop, the Docker command line client, which will enable you to um, execute some Docker commands. Docker Compose, if you don't know it yet, don't worry about it, but it's just um, uh, technology to orchestrate if you have multiple containers um, and some other stuff that we're not going to need in this tutorial. Uh, but you will have everything in a package installed. So go ahead and download the stable version. Well, I already have Docker installed from the Edge channel, so I won't be installing it again, uh, but it shouldn't matter because the steps of installation are the same for both.
So once the Docker DMG file is downloaded, you just double click on it and it will pop up this window. Just drag the Docker whale app into the applications and it will be installed on your uh, Mac. As the next step, you will see Docker installed in your applications. So you can just go ahead and start it. So as you see, the Docker um, sign or icon is starting here. If you click on it, you see the status that Docker is running. And you can um, configure some preferences and check the Docker version and so on. And if you want to stop Docker or quit it on your um, uh, Mac, you can just do it from here. Um, an important, maybe interesting note here is that um, if let's say you download or install Docker and you have uh, more than one accounts on your laptop, you will actually get some errors or conflicts if you run Docker at the same time or multiple accounts. So what I do, for example, is that if I switch to another account where I'm also going to need Docker, I quit it from here and then I start it from, from the um, other account so that I don't get any errors. So that might be something you need to consider if you use multiple accounts. So let's see how to install Docker for Windows. The first step, as I mentioned before, is to go to the before you install section and to see that your operating system and your computer meets all the criteria to run Docker natively. So if you are installing Docker for the first time, don't worry about most of these parts like Docker toolbox and Docker machine. There are two things that are important. One is to double check that your Windows version is compatible for Docker. And the second one is to have virtualization enabled. Virtualization is by default always enabled, um, other than you manually disabled it. So if you're unsure, then you can check it uh, by going to the task manager, performance, CPU tab, and here you can see the status of the virtualization. So once you have checked that and made sure this, that these two re prerequisites are met, then actually you can scroll up and download the Windows installer for, from the stable channel. Once the installer is downloaded, you can just click on it and follow the installation wizard to install Docker for Windows. Once the installation is completed, you have to explicitly start Docker because it's not going to start automatically. So for that, you can just go and search for the Docker for Windows app on your Windows and just click on it and you will see the Docker whale icon um, starting. And if you click on that icon, you can actually see the status that says Docker is now up and running. So this is basically it for the installation. Now let's see how to install Docker on different Linux distributions. And this is where things get a little bit more complicated. So first of all, you see that in this um, menu on the, on the left, you see that for, for different Linux distributions, the installation steps will differ. But also, for example, if we just click on Ubuntu um, for the guide, you can see that in the prerequisites section, there is also differentiation between the versions of the same Linux distribution. And there may be some even more complicated scenarios where the combination of the version of the distribution and the architecture it's running in um, also makes some difference into how to set up Docker on that specific environment. Because of that, um, I can't go through a Docker installation process of every Linux environment because there are just too many combinations. So instead, what we'll do is just go through a general overview of the steps and configuration process um, to get Docker running on your Linux environment. And you can just adjust it then for your specific setup.
So these are some general steps to follow in order to install Docker on your Linux, Linux environment. First of all, it, you have to go through the operating system requirements part on your on, on the relevant Linux distribution um, that applies for you. A second step in the documentation to, is to uninstall old versions. However, if it's the first time you installing Docker, then you don't have to worry about that. You also don't have to worry about the supported storage drivers and you can skip ahead to the part of installing Docker um, Community Edition. So for any Linux distribution here, the steps will be, or the options for installing Docker uh, will be the same. So first option is basically to set up a repository and download the Docker from, and install it from the Docker repository. Um, the second option is to install the packages manually. However, I wouldn't recommend it and I think the documentation doesn't recommend it either because then you will have to do a lot of steps um, uh, of the installation and the maintenance of the versions manually. So I wouldn't do that. The third one is just for the testing purposes. It may be enough for the development purposes as well, but I would still not do it, which is um, basically just download, downloading some automated scripts that will um, install and set up Docker on your uh, Linux environment. However, again, I wouldn't go with it. I would actually just do the uh, first option, which is just downloading the uh, Docker from the repository. So in order to install Docker using the first option, which is downloading it from the Docker's repositories, you have two main steps. So the first one is to set up the repository, uh, which differs a little bit depending on which distribution you have, and then install the Docker CE from that repository. So from Ubuntu and Debian, the steps for setting up the repository are generally um, just updating your app package, and then setting up an HTTPS connection with the repository, uh, and adding the Docker's official GPG key, which only Ubuntu and Debian need. You don't have to do these um, steps for CentOS and Fedora. Uh, there you just have to install the required um, uh, packages. Um, and the last step uh, for setting up the repository is basically um, setting up the stable repository of Docker, uh, which we saw previously on the overview that there are two channels, which is a stable and edge. Uh, here you always have to um, set up the stable repository. Optionally, you can also uh, set up the edge repository, but I would just do uh, stable this time. And here um, also something to notice, depending on the architecture, you have to actually um, set it or you have to set that as a parameter when you set up the repository. So um, if you have, for example, a different architecture, you can use those tabs um, to display the correct command for it. And um, I guess that applies to other Linux distributions as well. Like for example, here you also have the second tab where you see a separate command for it. So this steps should actually um, set up the repository. So that as a next step, you can then install the Docker C from those repositories. So installing Docker from the setup repository is actually pretty straightforward. Um, the steps are same for or similar to all the distributions. Basically just update the app package and then you just say install Docker CE. Um, so this command will just download the latest Docker version. If you want to uh, install a specific one, which you will need to do in a production environment, then you can just uh, provide a version um, like this to just say docker minus CE equals some specific versions. And using this command, you can actually look up what versions are available in that repository that you just, uh, and with this command, actually Docker will be installed um, on your Linux environment. And then you can just verify using um, sudo docker run hello world, which is this demo image of Docker. Um, you can verify that Docker is running and this will start 
um, hello world docker container um, on your environment. So as I mentioned previously, for environments um, that do not support running Docker natively, there is a workaround which is called Docker Toolbox. So Docker Toolbox is basically an installer for Docker environment setup on those systems. So this is how to install uh, Docker Toolbox on your Mac. Um, this is the whole package that comes with the installation of Docker Toolbox, which is basically the Docker uh, command line, Docker machine, Docker compose, basically all the packages that we saw in the native installation. And in, on top of that, you also get the Oracle VM virtual box. So in order to install the Docker Toolbox, it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, on, your, on this website, you can go to the Toolbox releases. We have all the list of latest releases. You just take the uh, latest release and here you see two assets. This one is for Windows, obviously, and you just download the package for Mac. And once it's downloaded, you just click on it and go through the installation wizard. Um, leave all the options by default as they are. Do not change anything. And after the installation, you can just validate that the installation is um, successful and you can actually run Docker. So after seeing the installation was successful screen, just go and look up um, in your launchpad Docker quick start terminal. And once you open it, you should be able to run uh, Docker commands and you can just try uh, Docker run hello world, which should um, just start up or bring up um, this hello world Docker container on your environment. So now let's see how to install Docker Toolbox on Windows. Here you see that you get the whole package of Docker technologies uh, with a toolbox, which are basically the same uh, package uh, which you get on the uh, native Docker installation. And on top of that, you get Oracle VM VirtualBox, which is the tool that enables Docker to run on an older system. Uh, so before you install Docker Toolbox, you have to make sure that you meet some of the preconditions. Number one, you have to make sure your Windows system supports virtualization and that virtualization must be enabled. Uh, otherwise, Docker, Docker won't start. Uh, so depending on which Windows version you have, uh, looking up or checking the virtualization status will be different. So I just su suggest you Google it and look it up of how to find the virtualization status um, to see that it's enabled. Once you have that checked, um, also make sure that your Windows operating system is 64 bits. So if those two criteria are met, then you can go ahead and install the Docker toolbox. The place where you see the releases or the release artifacts is toolbox releases link here, which I have open. So it's basically a list of the releases. You just take the la latest one, which has two artifacts. This is uh, the one for Windows. You just download this executable file, um, click on it and go through the installation wizard. Once the installation is completed, there are just a couple of steps here. Uh, you can verify that Docker was installed or the toolbox was installed um, by just looking up the Docker quick start terminal on your Windows. Um, that it must be installed. And once you click on it and open it, you should be able to run Docker commands in the terminal. So the basic Docker command that you can test will be Docker run hello world, which will just fetch this basic uh, Docker container from the public registry and run it on your uh, computer. If that command is successful, it means that Docker was successfully installed on your computer. And now you can proceed with the tutorial. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to like it. This is a video series, so I will create a new one every week. So if you want to be notified whenever a new video comes out, then subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, if something wasn't clear in the video, please post them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. So thank you and see you in the next video.